I was working on some client work this week and I had this realization that I've got a good list of websites that I like to use when I'm doing design work. Once I realized that, I knew I had to make a video to share with you guys to show you some of my favorite websites that I use when I'm doing design work. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right guys, let's jump into this. Before I start, I wanna make it known that none of these websites are paying me. I'm not sponsored by any of these. These are just legitimately five websites that I use in my creative workflow that I wanna share with you guys. So let's jump into it. The first website on the list is pexels.com. If you've been around the channel, you've definitely seen me use this before. I use this all the time when I need stock photos or stock videos. I just love the quality of the website and I love that I can use these without having to pay. They're free. I'm trying to be cheap. I don't always need top tier. Uh, the clients can pay for that. I don't need to pay for that. Um, but I'll just scroll through and I'll show you the quality. I think it's really great stuff. Uh, the license is good. You can We can go over to the license and look what's allowed and what's not allowed. I've never gotten to cease and desist from using this website, so I highly recommend it. But I can come in here and I can search uh, ocean landscape. So we'll just go through this and we'll kind of zoom in and we'll see what we got. Uh, we got some good stuff here. I mean, great high quality photo. Would definitely use that for something. Uh, what's really cool and they, they added this not too long ago is videos. Um, and so I use this all the time. Like recently I needed some snow. I just came in here and I searched for some snow. I got it, it did what I needed to do. I mean, I don't wanna talk about this too long because at the end of the day, it is stock photography website, but this one's a great one. Don't go out there and steal photos. Don't look too hard for them. This one's great. I love pexels.com. That's number one on the list. Number two on the list is coolers.co. I use this all the time. If I'm starting a branding project, you know I'm jumping over to coolers and I'm gonna jump through some color palettes uh, just to get the ball rolling. So it's a super simple website. Let's click start the generator. All it's gonna do is generate color palettes. Sometimes I don't have I don't have the thought right in my head. I mean, it's not always the easiest thing. Color theory is quite expansive and this is a great tool to help you kind of work through that and get different options. Uh, definitely, I use it all the time. What's really cool, I come over here, I can copy the hex code, boom. I can throw that straight in Illustrator, I can throw that straight in Photoshop, Figma, whatever. What's really cool is I can come to the top right and I can export. I can export the whole thing as an SVG. So I have the true colors. I can throw that in Adobe Illustrator. I'll have the vector uh, format of that. It's awesome. I use this all the time for inspiration. Sometimes I'll just come in here and I'll just shuffle through colors because it's great for inspiration. Definitely use this one. Check it out if you're not. Number three, this one might be a little controversial for some of you illustrators like me, but it's not. I'll talk through it and I'll tell you why it's not. This is a stock illustration website. So what you're gonna have in here is kind of like Pexels with the stock photography. This is gonna be stock illustrations. So this is great for maybe some of those quick clients that don't have quite the budget for an illustration project um, or they don't have any type of brand really established yet. This is gonna be a really great spot to just kind of come and grab some of those quick little uh, images or illustrations that we can use uh, for call outs or whatever. I like to use these a lot for web design. Sometimes they can get super stale um, and I don't have the time to do a full illustration project with this client. So I'll come over here and I'll just get some inspiration from what's already here. The cool thing is, is you can uh, customize a lot of these or and there's a huge library already established um, and there's all different kinds of styles. I mean, this is some good uh, children's book type illustration styles, but they definitely have that like corporate core illustration style. So what's cool is they do have a community. So they have uh, these illustrations that are already made from the community. You do have to upgrade with a pro uh, service, which is great because they're kicking some money back to those artists like us, which is, I love that. Uh, they also have free things that you're able to use. Uh, they have a Figma plugin. I love Figma, so definitely a cool thing right there. So let's come over here to categories and I'll kind of show you a little bit deeper in there. Uh, healthcare is really popular when it comes to web design. So we can scroll through here and we say, uh, yeah, I mean, this would be great for the website that I'm building. Uh, but look, they have similar images, so you can keep that same consistent style as you're building that brand or that uh, website, whatever it be. When you keep scrolling, they have all different types. Uh, so with outlines, so without outlines. It's just a good website if you need inspiration or you just need some quick illustrations for your project. Number four on the list is Google Fonts. I love Google Fonts. I do a lot of web design. So I like the fact that these are all web fonts. I can use them for any of my projects and the client can have access to them for free. I don't have to talk to them about buying the license or spending thousands of dollars on a font that they may not use or may not have or want in their brand, yada, yada, yada. I like Google Fonts. Uh, I can pretty much find everything that I'm looking for. They have fun fonts, serifs, uh, sans serif slabs, 
uh, any kind you can think. I mean, let's go to handwriting. We don't want slabs there. Uh, shadows and delight. I mean, look, that's a good looking font right there. I could definitely build something with that. Yes, you may not have some of those big name fonts, but I'm pretty sure you can find an alternative in Google fonts. Again, we're talking about quick, easy uh, websites. We can definitely go wrap down a rabbit hole when it comes to typography, but I think Google Fonts is a great resource. I use it daily, um, and I think they have great fonts. So that's number four. Number five, you knew we wouldn't be able to get through this without talking about AI. So this website that I'm talking about now is called Claude.ai, and I know you've probably heard of ChatGPT. This is a very similar uh, competitor to them. I just kind of like the results I get from Claude a little bit better. So what I like to use this for is just some of that early brainstorming help me brainstorm a brand for a pizza company can't type today and we'll just see what it says so to, what it'll do is it'll go through and just give me some ideas i can even go in there and get it to give me some typography options some hex codes if i'm doing a web project i can have it do a whole site map i mean there's all kinds of things i can do with it i really just like to do this for the brainstorming stage sometimes if you get some of that creative block it's good to come over here and just see what it can help you with i also like to use it for my youtube videos whether it be titles or descriptions seo uh, ai is a great tool and it helps speed up the process so definitely something we should adopt and embrace as creatives well guys there you have it that's five websites that i think every designer and creative should know what did you guys think? Did you know any of these websites? Are you currently using them in your workflow? If so, let me know in the comments below. If you guys like this video, you already know what to do. Until the next one, peace.